Hey guys and welcome back to a follow-up video about the Terramaster F2-2 and on this video we are going to check the capabilities of backup about this NAS unit so if this is something that matters to you just stay tuned and I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, and we are back. So what we are going to check on this video will be three types of backups. One being backing up your computer, either Windows computer or a Mac OS X computer to the NAS itself. The other uh, backup test will be configure the NAS to back to another backup to another uh, NAS. And finally, we will see how to back up the NAS to a USB drive. So with no further ado, let's go to the screen. We are here with the dashboard, which we already have a video about this. So if you haven't seen, just, just check the video on the description and you will be able to see more details. Now, if we go to the backup solution here, we will have four options. And let's take the first one out of the way, which is Time Machine. If you have a Mac with OS X, we've got a great feature which is time machine and if you have a Mac you know what I mean so this will be very easy to use because time machine in my personal opinion is one of the best things that OS 10 has but let's get back to the screen so once you enable in case of uh, OS 10 you enable time machine you will be able to choose uh, which drive you want to put on your backup uh, in this case we have single drive configuration on the NASH so um, I'm able to choose, for example, disk 2, which is uh, the one at the moment which has more storage, or disk 1, which has only 681 gigs at the moment because I'm using it to test. So let's say that I want to use 500 gigs just for Time Machine. All I have to do is enable Time Machine here, and then on my Mac, I can enable this drive to make my backups. So having that out of the way, Let's start here with the, um, well, before we go to the setup, we just saw how the Mac works. So let's see what I use for Windows. For Windows, I use this software here, which is Aomei Backupper. You can check online. It's a freeware um, software that you can use. And what it allows me to do is, as you can see here, I already made a test yesterday, uh, backing up my computer. So if I select backup, and system backup and let's say that I want to back up my main drive which is uh, the one that the SSD that I'm using to boot my machine all I will have to do is select the drive that I want to uh, back up to and in this case I will choose the Termaster and I can choose backups PC which was the folder that I'd chosen to uh, make the backup test which is already here and once I select that, I just have to select Start Backup. One other option that I have is to select as a schedule. Let's say that I want to do every day at uh, a certain time. So I can do this, um, or sorry, run once a day and run once every day at a certain time. And I also can configure it with intervals and weekly. Let's say that I want at Tuesday and Sunday at any time that that you choose, or once a month. So every first day of of the month, and um, we can choose on the first uh, Monday of each month, for for example, or the first Tuesday of each month. So a very neat uh, backup solution, which I've been using for us a lot of reasons. Uh, especially on cloning drives so I can save time but for this particular topic uh, we are going to check the backup here so let's forget about the schedule now because I don't want you to wait for every Tuesday of the month and what I do right now is if I select my which I think I already selected okay let's open and if I start the backup it will be on the background making um, the background but I already did this so let's cancel this task which by the way it will not allow me to cancel it <laughs> oh 
Okay, so let's just leave it. And you saw the option. Once, if if we want to restore the the system once again, all we have to do is go to the restore tab and press restore with one of the backups that we have. So let's leave this on the background for now. And let's see right now if we want to use this NAS to make a backup to another NAS. Now here I would advise you, if you use a Terra Master NAS for that, if you want to make a backup to a remote location, I would suggest to get the same brand. So if you have one Terra Master, um, get a second one because it will be much easier to troubleshoot anything. Uh, and this happens with any brand. So if you have any other brand, just get a second, exactly the same model of that brand. So it works better for you without any problems at all. So if we go to AirSync Backup, uh, we can create, I've got one here created already, but we can create any that we want. So test name, uh, test name, sorry, <laughs> task name, uh, task example, and for example, I'm using here uh, my local network at the moment, but you can do this with external, uh, with a DNS, for example, or if you have a dedicated EP address for your um, NAS that is connected elsewhere, not in your office, then you can just place it in here. Now in here, I will have to put my username and the password, which I think is this one. If I make test, everything works okay. So let's put next destination path. We will have to choose um, which path I want to use for this. So in this case, let me use this one here. Okay, we're not going to use this just so you can see and then we can schedule if we want to do every month every week every day or sync now so let's do every month because we're not going to use this one activate encryption in this case we have all these options we're not going to use any and complete okay so we have two tasks right now <clears throat> one being monthly and the other one being immediately. Now we are going to test here uh, this one and what I'm going to show you is on Terra Master I've got two partitions as we saw in the previous video uh, two partitions, no sorry, two um, map drives so one the Terra Master disk one and second Terra Master disk two. What I'm going to test is backing up disk one to disk two and which is this one here. If I press play it will give me the status that is working and while with that we can check how this one is going so this one is backing up my computer system to the NASH it's already on 5% this takes a bit but it's working so right now it is executing the backup and if we go to our Terra Master Disk 1 and Disk 2 which is just dummy files 150 megabytes dummy file and a 350 megabytes dummy file and it, now it's taking a bit longer because it's doing two backups simultaneously this one and the other one here okay so as you can see we already have a file here and the other one will come in a few seconds now this is the second uh, option that we have for backup, which is NAS to NAS. And then we have also an option to backup to our USB drive, which is very useful, by the way, if you want to get a full backup of your NAS to a uh, big storage on USB. Now, in here, what we will have to do is, uh, and I just selected the TerraMaster Disk 1, which has the two files that we saw here and by the way let me just check if the disk is empty i can go right over here if i go to TerraMaster and if i go to usb share okay i already have a backup here let's delete this so this folder here is the usb drive that i have connected 
and okay let's go back to our backup options and backup to external device Okay, so what we can do here is select which folder we want to backup. Let's say this one here, for example, is the one that I'm testing to backup my system to the NASH. So let's say if I want this, I will just have to put it here. But in this case, I don't. I just want this test folder here to be backed up to um, the USB. And what we can do here is select backup now, schedule backups and automatic backups. So schedule backups, you will have the option to every day or select each day of the week that you prefer if you want a copy or a synchronous just to copy the files that were changed on that interval or you can select also automatic um, backup as soon as an external storage device is plugged in so once you plug in your usb drive then the NAS will automatically copy everything that you've chosen here to the uh, usb app tested all of them they do work really nice so what we're going to do now is just a copy because we have got nothing on the usb drive as we saw and all i have to do is apply and the backup is starting right now so at the moment we are doing three types of different backup in simultaneous so that's why it's a bit uh, slower than usual because we only use at least I do <laughs> one backup each time but just so you can see that you can uh, place several tasks on this device and it will work great so if we check right now the first um, backup that we did or the second one which was the Nash to Nash we wanted to copy from Terramaster Disk 1 to Terramaster Disk 2 and it's already right over here so this is just an example how it would work if it's on an external um, or an outside office or even at your home so that's a great backup feature i use it on my own with another nash but this one also has that capability so a great plus on here of course this will depend on the internet speed that you have here and the internet speed that you have on the other end of your um, off-site solution backup so let's get back here and once again our system backup is being done and it's already 11 percent now i can cancel it are you sure you want to cancel backup yeah i do have another one so no problem at all so finish um so we only have one which was made yesterday if i want to restore it all i have to do is select this and go to next and my system will be all resourced so once again our may backupper a great tool to integrate with uh, this device because unfortunately uh, machines with windows does not have the time machine at least the time machine actually which works great so let's close this one and now if we go to our Terramaster and go to our usb drive we already have here one file backed up and we are about 67% of usage, 70. So the other one is almost, almost done. Okay, and finish it up. So uh, let's check the folder. And this is the USB drive connected. And here we have the test dummy files that we just copied to um, the system so regarding backups this is the capability of the Terramaster f2 nash 2 hope it helped with some questions that you had and i'll see you on the next one